Watch Enthusiast Brad or Brent Miller. Today I am uh, a little bit on the fly here. I, I saw we had the uh, Grand Seiko Snowflake and the Skyflake both in stock. And I thought, why not get these on video and just take a look at both of these side by side. Um, if you want to see how these wear on my six and three quarter inch wrist, uh, there's a link in the description to check out our Instagram page. You can see my wrist roll there with both of them. So let's get some uh, dimensions out of the way first. Uh, for the Snowflake, I measured this at 40.1 millimeters for the case. I measured it at 12.8 millimeters thick, 48.2 from lug tip to lug tip. That is not counting the bracelet that sticks out here a little bit on the, uh, the male end link. 20 millimeter lug width. And you guys all know these are both using the 9R65 spring drive movement with uh, powers over about 72 hours. On the Skyflake here on my left, measured this case at 39.7, so slightly smaller, 13 point millimeter or 13.2 millimeters thick. And I think a lot of that has to do with probably this boxed sapphire crystal. Uh, obviously, you can see that this one has uh, is, is more boxed as the Snowflake is, is more of a flat. Um, 47.8 lug tip to lug tip on the Skyflake, so slightly smaller, just a little bit. Uh, 19 millimeter lug width. Uh, and this is obviously finished off on this blue uh, fantastic crocodile strap. So looking at these up close, just to kind of give you an idea of the texture of the dial and how these look. Obviously the snowflake is your white and your skyflake is your baby blue. Both just really sharp looking watches. Probably room for both in a collection if you wanted to. I did leave the stickers on these on the case back on these, so the movement's not going to be uh, too viewable. Like I said, just wanted to get them side by side. Let me know what you guys think. Um, man, it's forced to choose. It's a tough decision, you know. Titanium bracelet, titanium uh, case versus uh, the Skyflake on the leather. I don't know if I can make my mind up. They're both really nice. Uh, I think both could fit into a collection easily. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any questions or a video you want to see, anything we want to compare, it's brad at brentlmiller.com. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.